Howdy champs, my name is More Than People. Today I'm going to show you how to create a responsive menu bar using the Flex or the Flexible Box model or the Flex Box as some people like to call it. Uh, the right hand side, the white side, this area is the, the preview area, the browser's preview. Let me straight away show you the browser's preview. Let's change the view, let's show you the full page view. It occupies the uh, whole page width and this is the way the items actually behave. Let me go back. I'm using codepen.io. It's an online editor that allows you to code really quick. It has a lot of tools that assist you. Okay, there you go. Uh, the uh, flexible box model, the Flexbox is supported mainly in the latest browsers, so you need to check the compatibility. This, this are, uh, there are issues with older uh, IE versions, especially. Okay, this is so easy to create, this is so magical, guys. And not only is it responsive, as you can see out here, see the grow and shrink uh, transition, the color transition, right? If I actually constrain the size further, you can actually see in the mobile size it changes to a vertical uh, menu bar. Okay, and you wouldn't believe how easy it is to create this. Seriously. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some code. I'm going to lose some code and whatever I've lost, I'm going to recreate for you so that you understand clearly how things actually work. Okay, so let me lose some code from here. This is uh, the HTML panel. So all I'm left with is opening, closing nav bars with a class of menu. Okay and uh, <coughs> I'm going to lo lose everything inside the, the the rule out here which is the menu rule the menu the class menu okay and everything out here as well just give me a sec okay mm -hmm. I'm going to lose this as well Okay, so I've lost everything from the class menu and a colon link inside the class menu and a colon link hover inside the class menu. Everything I've lost here. I've deleted, I've removed and I'm just leaving the last rule which is for uh, the mobile size. That's all. And we're going to recreate the whole project all over again. Okay. First of all, guys, let's say I would want five items uh, running from left to right for the desktop size. How would I do that? So I'm going to say I'm going to use uh, a code assist plugin. Or a, uh, in fact, I'm going to use a code assist which is inbuilt into code pen. It's called Emmet. You'll understand what I mean by code assist. If I say a colon link and press tab this is the way the code actually expands. We need anchor tags, we need link tags, don't we? And if I say um, into 5, this is the way code actually expands, right? But if I say uh, menu item dollar. Now this dollar, just give me a sec, okay actually becomes one or two or three or four or five it actually depends and you'll see what I mean by that now if I say into five and I press tab uh, you'll see the code expands like this but you see uh, there is a small space between the menu items and that is something we don't want that can be easily tackled if I just bring them in the same line you need to do that guys and then they won't have that kind of a separator that they have. Just get them all in the same line. Okay, now that uh, gets them rubbing shoulders with each other. So this this is the only uh, this is the only uh, HTML that we have. Pretty pretty simple. What do you say, guys? Very simple. Nothing much to it. And I made it even simpler for you by actually using the code assist uh, emit, which is inbuilt into 
uh, codepen.io and guys if you want to visit this uh, get the code get the source code you can just go to the highlighted part out here this bit before the question mark you can open up this in your browser and you'll get the whole source code the whole project actually right uh, now now the first rule is uh, menu a period or a dot or menu and I should say display flex so actually see uh, this assumes this project actually assumes that you have uh, an understanding of the flexible box model the flex 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 box uh, as we call it okay and after that display flex and for the next rule which is targeting all the links if I say flex grow one you see all the items actually separate this spread out right uh, let me give it a background as well so BG plus that's gonna give the black background but I'm gonna be using some linear gradient as I said this uh, you'll need to understand why have I used uh, display flex or flex grow you need to have a good understanding of the flexible box model flex box you need to learn that first and then come back to this tutorial if you do not know what's going on out here if you don't have much of a clue just know for the moment that uh, the moment I say display flex it actually opens up a lot of opportunities it allows us to uh, use the flexible box model in the moment I say flex grow if uh, there is opportunity the items will actually expand that's all you need to know right now so I'm gonna say black comma maroon or let's go the other way maroon comma black I'm using linear gradient and this is the syntax simple syntax actually linear means in one single line <coughs> okay I also should be changing the color and I'm gonna go with white All right let's say TA text align center okay making a lot of sense <coughs> I'm sorry guys now let me remove the TD text decoration none so that's removing the underline and how about giving it a padding of 15 very very good it's actually taken the shape of a menu bar you can clearly see out here see right now all the links are actually dummy links they don't do not point to anything that is the reason we just have put the HTTP column forward slash forward slash uh, but later on when you have the links ready you can obviously put them right and see when I actually hover over the menu items you get the hand with the finger pointing up just letting you know that it's actually a clickable link okay so far so good uh, we are not uh, required to use any jQuery or JavaScript so I've closed that panel for you okay uh, it's not flexible uh, yet we're gonna uh, make it flexible very soon in fact let me just shrink it is flexible you see but you we still don't have the hover effect right so let's get on with the hover effect uh, box shadow is one of the effects that I've actually used 0 50 px so x displacement y displacement or horizontal displacement is the first argument the second argument the, or the value is actually the vertical uh, displacement the vertical shadow and then the blur radius is zero I don't want any uh, spread or any radius I don't want any of that zero zero no blur radii no spread and then the color let's say I would want to go with pink 
and I would want the shadow to go in okay fine you see this is the way it actually behaves uh, is pink the right color? <laughs> it doesn't look good uh, how about brown? E-R-O-W-N yeah. yeah perfect and then I need to add transition property a type out here transition let's say affecting all properties uh, over one second let's see how this actually affects it see so nice so subtle so basically uh, no spread no blur radius uh, just a wide displacement or, or a vertical displacement equaling the length of the the menu bar so far so good okay at the same time I'm gonna say that the flex grow should happen a little more pronounced with the items that are actually hovered so instead of the value 1 which is for every menu item I'm gonna go with value 2 this will make sure that the other items shrink and give some space to the one that is hovered upon because this has a value of 2 and they all have the share of value of 1 as you can see out here okay this value is important see that this will become better if I allow them more scope to grow see that right and we're actually done guys uh, the last rule means that if the maximum width of the viewport is 480 then the flex direction should be column by default the flex direction is row which is from left to right column means from top to bottom as I said you'll need to have some understanding of the flexible box model but right now all you need to know is when I say display flex it allows me a lot of uh, options a lot of opportunities and I can start using the flexible box model when I say flex grow it allows the item to grow if it gets space it'll grow okay this number out here tells you how much it should grow or how fast it should grow okay so on a hover it's two and uh, otherwise it's actually one that's shared for every other item every menu item so we're using uh, linear gradient maroon black text align center color whatever text decoration and now these these are standard properties guys commonly used properties padding 15 px allows you some space uh, around the the item or inside the item rather transition is uh, very much like animation and uh, it allows uh, some change over to happen over some time and when I say all I'm it means that uh, please affect all uh, properties so the change between the link and the link hover is what's gonna get affected and the only change that we have created is the box shadow going inside inset means inside the color brown uh, we have not used any uh, spread any radii or any X displacement we have just used the vertical or the Y displacement 50 px going from top to bottom if I say minus 50 for example it will go in the other direction see that okay right so let me sh uh, just save it up and show you the full size uh, full page view of the final product okay so menu item grows uh, more than the one which is hovered more than the other items okay you can see the uh, way nice box shadow actually growing as well I've used a lot of CSSC properties and I've not used any vendor prefixes like dash or dash dash ms dash dash webkit dash etc because with most modern contemporary browsers these uh, are supported flex the display flex could be an issue with uh, some old versions of IE so you need to check on that and if possible uh, provide a fallback see if I just remove the flex let's see what happens so with very old versions you know you'll get this kind of a menu bar. the menu bar will still be there you know with the uh, old versions of IE this could be the 
the the uh, way the things will actually appear. It'll still be functional. It'll still appear, but this is the way it'll actually look. Right? Let's say Control Z to get it back. Okay, guys. So I hope you found this tutorial informative, useful, and I'll see you soon. Please sub if you haven't. Please like the video. Please uh, spread uh, the video by sharing it on social networking sites. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.